4.3. Tourism in India is important for the country's economy and it is growing rapidly. The Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report 2019 has ranked India 34th out of 140 countries overall. I've been to India, it's amazing. Annex to C indicates the number of tourist arrivals in India, as well as the countries of origin of these tourist arrivals. Okay, so remember, as soon as you see Annex to C, what do you do? You go and you find it, right? So here it is over here. Okay, we're gonna use this to answer our questions. So it says, use Annex to C to answer the questions that follow. So it says, write down as a decimal, Right, so it's telling you what format it wants the answer in, the probability of selecting a tourist that comes from other countries. Okay, so remember probabilities, when you think about probabilities, you could be saying, okay, but which of these two graphs do I use? Well, remember probabilities is generally talking about a part of um, one, right, like a fraction of one or a percentage of 100. So you should be looking over here, right, because this is sort of where the probability is going to be. They're saying of other, so it's going to be 18.7%. Right, so 18.7%, but it specifically asked for decimals, right? So if we want to make, if we want to convert this into decimals, we say 18.7 and you divide it by 100. Because remember, when we're wanting to make something into a percentage, we times it by 100. But here, we're going to take this and we're going to divide it by 100, right? So we're going to take this and we're going to divide it by 100, and that's going to give us our decimals there and that'll be our answer so just be careful to make sure that you're reading the question because students will sometimes not see that and then forfeit the answer well forfeit all the marks well some of the marks at least okay 4.3.2 state the trend in the number of tourist arrivals in india from 2015 to 2019 okay so let's go back over here so which graph do we look at well this one is a natural one to look at because there is a time frame there Right, so 2015 to 2019, so we could say as the years increase, so does the number of tourist arrivals in India, right? So you can just write that. I'm just going to write it shorthand just because I don't want to bore you. So as time increases, right, so does the number, oh, wow, number of tourists visiting India. My handwriting is not the greatest today, but we move. Okay, 4.3.3, let's continue. So it says, for 2019, the total number of tourist arrivals in India was 10,93 million. Bobby states that more than four and a half million tourists who visited India in 2019 came from Bangladesh, okay? Verify showing all calculations whether his statement is correct. So now remember with these questions, you have to say, is he correct or is he not, right? So we need to make sure that we actually answer that, but we have to do a bit of a calculation here. So in 2019, it was 10,93. So now what we need to do is we want to say, okay, here is the 2019 data, okay? Um, and that is the 10,93 we're talking about. And it says most important countries from where the tourists come. So of the 10,93, we know that 37,1% of them come from Bangladesh. And these percentages come from other countries, right? So we're going to take this amount and we're going to times by 37,1% to see how many people actually come from Bangladesh, okay? So we're going to say 10,93 and we're going to times it by 37,1%. And that will tell us how many people come to India from Bangladesh, 10.93 times by 37.1%, okay? Oh, wow, putting two decimals in here. Not sure what that's for. Okay, cool. So it's this. Now, that is in millions, right? Because that's what it said over there. That's in millions. So let's now convert this, right? So you can write the answer there, 4.05503. Remember, we don't round off until we get to our final answer. So this is in millions, but let's write it out as if it was just a full number with no sort of unit like that. So how many um, zeros does a million have? Six. So let's one, two, three, one, two, three. And our answer there is this many people. Okay. So that's how many people visit India from Bangladesh, right, in 2019. And is that amount larger, right? Is it larger? 
than this amount here? Well, no, it's not, right? So therefore you say, therefore, Bobby is wrong. Sorry, Bobby, right? So you see how converting this, right, really helped us um, get to our answer. So sometimes students get stuck here. Um, and then you just need to remember, okay, what happened? How do I get it so that I can compare it to this, right? And if you want to say this, you can actually say, well, that's less than 4,000, I mean, 4.5 million, right? If you want to kind of be um, concise, because remember with inequalities, it's called the inequality sign. The part with what we were taught when we were younger was the crocodile mouth. The crocodile mouth always eats the bigger side, right? So this side is bigger than that side. And that is therefore our answer and we're done. Okay, we just have one more question here. So it says, the pie chart shows the total percentage of tourist arrivals in India for 2019 as 99,8%. Give a valid reason why this is not 100%. So it's basically saying, if I add all of these up, it actually doesn't equal 100%. It equals 99.8%. Why could that be? Well, the reason here has to do with rounding, right? So what could happen here is that there, there could be more decimals. And we know that with rounding, we always get rid of decimals. There could be more decimals that are not included here. And because you could round each of those down, it means that then like your overall um your overall value is then less than what the full 100% is. So you just need to say here, um, due to rounding, right? You could also say, if you kept all the decimals in, then it would add up to 100, but that's basically your valid, your valid, not excuse, but reason. Okay, that's us done with question four. Let's move on to question five.